says, China considers mining talent a national security asset. The West treats it like an optional major. Yep. Well, last week, um, well, not last week, a couple weeks ago, we had an episode go a little bit viral, which was super fun, mm -hmm. talking about the, um, the talent gap that we are going to be experiencing, experiencing here very soon. They're looking at um, 20,000 graduates a year in mining programs compared to 800 in the Western world. By the Western world, I'm excluding Europe and talking about the mining powerhouses of Canada, Australia, and the United States. And it's good because this is the conversations that we need to start having in a very more serious manner because we've been talking about it for a long time, but we really need to like start doing things about it. I mean, an interesting statistic that we found was in 2023, there was only 162 mining engineers graduating in the U.S. Yep. That's a very small number. Like, it's so wild to have, like, one of the largest pits in the world in our backyard and people in the city of Salt Lake and surrounding communities still don't even realize it's there. <laughs> That's bad. It's... I put that squarely on the mining industry for not telling the story 